However, why we brought you here today is to give an account of uh, some of the activities that we've been holding here uh, since January 23rd when I reported here. Details of those activities will be explained to you when I read out my report in the hall. However, it is very, very important that we bring you here to show you some of the latest seizures that we've made in the last three weeks, culminating in the seizure of the vehicles you are seeing around here and the petroleum products you see here that was made between the hours of 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. this morning. Details of that seizure will be explained to you. Then we also have this. Unfortunately, this was seized from one of the sister agencies who was conveying it. Normally, in my character, because of the synergy that we enjoy with these sister agencies in our effort to protect the border, I don't celebrate mentioning them. However, the person involved has been handed over to his agency for appropriate punishment. This is codeine. Uh, this cough syrup with codeine, as you all know, is part of the drugs that is being abused in the country these days. Also seized in the course of our operations this week is cowrie shells. This is absolute prohibition. As simple as this may be, this is an attack on our environment. Somebody was also bringing this, it was seized. Went round, and this is what they intercepted. There are nine of these vehicles. Each of them is carrying minimum, minimum of 59 jerry cans of fuel. As you can see here, we are going to offload them. This is another one. And this, this is another, as you can see. You see how dangerous it is. Now, the danger with this is that those who are smuggling these things, they were packing them from various areas with a view to take them to the beach, from where they transport them by water across into neighboring Benin Republic before they were intercepted. This is a very dangerous trend in the sense that imagine if they are traveling with this and it catches fire. Imagine the danger it will cause to other road users and to the community where they were intercepted. This is yet another one. This is another dangerous ingenuity. Putting petroleum products in sacks like this to be smuggled across. What you see inside here is not food item. These are all petroleum products. 95 pieces of donkey skin. What this translates to is that 95 donkeys were murdered. 95 donkeys were killed. If you reason it by way of just donkey skin or donkey, Ask yourself, what is the gestation period for a donkey? If you kill donkeys just for killing sake because of their skin, you are depleting this particular species of animals from our environment. So, those thinking that because I am leaving, it's going to be business as usual, <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are investing in a very wrong venture. It is not going to work. All this you can see. Close to 1,400 jerry cans, 30 liter equivalent, seized in one full swoop. Just because of a singular news that somebody has been transferred. But that's a big mistake. Because it's a structure. It's not about me. I'm not the one going out into the field to make all decisions. The same people who are making decisions are still here. I'm just an administrative head giving directions. But I don't go out. The exception is that when they made a decision in the night, they called me. I have to come out and wait for them here and then work on the phone with them to make sure that they are not attacked or that they are not, there's no other further intervention by the owners. But luckily, everything was brought back intact without resistance from any person. But let me reassure them that the caliber of officers we have here, led by the OC operations at Chinze, are not the type that will compromise whether their leaders are there or not. because. They have been properly educated to understand that the work they are doing is about national interest. And that's what drives all of us here in Seme. In addition to what we are going to read in the hall, you will also see that we are being encouraged by management of Nigerian Customs Service. Commendation letters have been given to the officers for the past seizures that they made. We are going to share those commendation letters signed by headquarters to them in your presence. The command seized 
before today, 13,835 by 30 liters jerry cans of premium motor spirit, otherwise known as petroleum products. This is equivalent to 415,000 liters of fuel or 13 petroleum tankers with duty paid value of 728,276,000 naira. We also seized 15,389 pieces of general merchandise, including hard drugs and narcotics, which we have seen at the warehouse. Recently, the command has seized specifically 41 parcels of cannabis sativa in the last one month, 4,900 tablets of 300, 225 milligrams of tramadol, 3,600 tablets of 225 tramadol royal, 1,457 Hennequin ecstasy tablets, 864 packets of cigarettes. In the same vein, officers and men of the command acting on credible intelligence intercepted 1,364 30 liter jerry cans of premium motor spirit equivalent to 40,800 liters over one tankers just this morning between the hours of 8.10 p.m. and 2 a.m. along the Ijafi corridor. Ijafi corridor. In addition to the above, and in line with Nigerian Customs Service dictate to encouraging its personnel and officers and men that we are involved in the seizure of the fake six million US dollars. The officers are being commended today by the Contra General of Customs. Those that also seized the fake international passports and driving license, the initial donkey skins other than the one you have seen today, and several other seizures are being commended through a letter written by the Contra General of Customs, Bashir Adewale Adeni MFR. The commendation letters and the congratulatory letters from me will be presented to the beneficiaries who are seated here today. Let me appreciate the Contra General of Customs for his support to the command and also appreciate the Semebadagri community for their cooperation and to officers and men of the command for their gallantry and patriotism. Our greatest appreciation goes to the media for highlighting our modest effort in semi-area command. Gentlemen of the press, upon my assumption of duty on the 23rd of January 2023, I pledged to adopt new strategies to boost trade while enforcing the nation's anti-smuggling laws along this corridor, in line with the ECOWAS protocols on free movement of goods, persons, and services. I also promised, along the officers and men who are seated here today, to encourage compliant traders along the corridor, bearing in mind the challenges of the joint border post as one that is still recovering from the effects of the border closure. We have kept faith with that promise, as we be explained in due course. It is important to note that the Nigeria 2022 fiscal policy measures by the Federal Ministry of Finance lifted the ban on export of goods imported into the country, hitherto prohibited under Item 8, Schedule 6 of the Common Standard Tariff. It is hoped that our stakeholders will take full advantage of this gesture, while our brothers from other countries in the sub-region, particularly the Republic of Benin, will reciprocate this gesture where there is existing trade barriers. It is gratifying to note that the Controller General of Customs and the government of both countries and the stakeholders are all on the same page regarding the need to improve our relationship with a view to maximize the opportunities offered by the proximity of our two countries to the border and develop trade along the corridor. Gentlemen of the press, this address will not be complete without mentioning notable impacts made by the command in our key performance indicators, which are revenue collection and that is smuggling operations and trade facilitation. The revenue generated for the command for the year 2023 is 1960000000 naira. As at this morning, sorry, the revenue target for the command for the year 2023 is 
960 million naira only. As at this morning, the 8th of September 2023, the command has collected 1 billion 91,459,000 naira. Sorry, 1 billion, 904 billion, 456, and 59 naira only. This represents 97.2% of 1 billion, 960 million, which is our target. Gentlemen, I want to commend all the officers we see here today who given a target of 1.96 billion, have so far collected 1.94 billion. It goes to show the tenacity of the officers here. In the corresponding period for re under review for year 2020, the revenue was 885 million naira only. What this means is that the implication of this is that we have witnessed a tremendous increase of 1 billion and 18 million, which represents 51% increase from the last year report. Please, I think these officers need to be commended for that with an applause. <laughs> Let me state that this painstaking effort of these officers is being recognized by the headquarters, as you can see in subsequent actions that we're going to take here. In the area of anti smuggling operation, we are already conversant with our headline news of the seizure of fake six million naira, six, fake six million US dollars, which is the equivalent of 2.7 billion naira that was seized by some of the officers here today who will also receive some commendation from the CG, as you can see later. This is in addition to other notable seizures recorded between January and August 2023 and listed below. Let me state by stating number one is 6,569 50 kilogram bars of rice, equivalent to 16 trailer loads of foreign parboiled rice, with duty paid value of 312,242,000 naira. 